Yes, hi guys. And today I have to again take the, the integration of rational fractions. Okay. And further, I am just furthering the same topic, integration of rational fractions. Now in this case, the next type of problem can arise when there is the denominator of the form x4 k plus k into x square plus c square. This kind of denominator is means the power is 4. Okay. And the numerator is having a x square plus uh, let me think b here. Okay. So a x square plus b just like the question number one. This kind of situation if arises, then how we have to them. So for that process, okay. sorry, we could divide the denominator into certain forms. Okay, into two, two parts or three parts or whatever the situation, whatever the situation is. Mostly two parts are okay, it is divided into two parts. Okay, then numerator is also uh, okay, divided by a uh, certain And finally, we divide the denominator and numerator by x scale. For example, let me explain this question, and all these questions are based on the same type of problem. This first type, first question which I have written down here, that I am discussing about. Now, this kind of questions are mostly, okay, how they can be solved in case of rational fractions, okay, without taking partial fractions in this presentation, and if partial fractions are considered, then without passing fractions, uh, okay, how these questions are to be solved. That is the process of uh, dealing with this rational fractions. Okay, otherwise passing fractions are okay. We have to divide by passing fractions and by, I mean, uh, uh, divide that function given into two number of uh, rational fractions into number of parts, that pass fraction, and then uh, integrate them. So in integral fractions, we have to convert means the function is given to not integral. We have to convert it into fractions and then integrate. This is the process of this uh, uh, lecture here, I mean, uh, in this topic here. So these questions which I always say that are taken from the students' queries in the classes, mine, okay, in case of engineering classes. Okay, so in that situation, I noted down all these questions of the students. Right? And then um, from net, net offices, okay, so most of the students, they ask me some questions online, so from online queries also I have taken some questions. Please just uh, pay attention to this question. This question can also arise the time of exam. So let me take questions from one to okay, So let me take first one question, the first question. Okay. So in the situation when the denominator of a rational fraction, when the denominator of a rational fraction of a the rational fraction is of the form is of the form x4 plus k x square plus c square. Then, okay, then it is uh, okay. Then it is to be divided by x square. Okay, just to make it. A big difference. And, and, and the numerator is and the numerator the numerator is of the form of the form a x square plus b. In this situation In this situation, what we do, we divide the numerator, we divide the numerator and the denominator, let me write the brief, okay, uh, brief of those words, numerator and denominator. Okay, we divide the numerator and denominator by x here. And we get the denominator as the denominator as up here it will be so this will be x4 the x square after division by x square. It will be x square plus k plus c square upon x square. Now it can be 
Now it can be transformed into converted into converted into the form. What are those forms? If I write here x minus c upon x whole square plus it will be if it are taken minus sign here we will have the middle term 2c only minus 2c we have to subtract that by adding 2c now this is the same question here as with the scale the c square minus scale and x plus c upon x whole square plus k minus 2c here k minus 2c here from this we will get plus 2c that we remove to me for that for the removal of that we have to subtract minus 2c or I mean 2c we have to subtract 2c minus 2c and plus 2c we will cancel out so finally we get the same value as k plus k so this can be divided in the, new, in the numerator and the numerator can be written as that was a plus that is after division yeah this is a plus b upon x square okay so this is what we have to have now how these questions are being converted or if I divide the numerator then this is and then okay the integral then the then the, then the fraction or the rational fraction then the rational fraction then the rational fraction a x square plus b upon x whole plus k x square plus c square can be written as a into in this case we can write here there are two possibilities it can be x minus c upon x okay divided by well. the whole value say x, x minus c upon x for, for the integration of this will be 1 minus c upon x square minus sign here here it will be plus sign that is x plus c upon x square square and plus k minus 2c plus sign b into this will be 1 plus c upon x square divided by x minus c upon x square plus k plus 2c so in this situation, or let me write here, or ax square plus b divided by x1 plus k x square plus c square is equal to the integral and clear. So let me write this. This is a into we have written down one upon so one on c of c upon x square in brackets okay, divided by x plus y x plus c c upon x because if i consider this as t you will get 1 minus c upon x here yes, this one okay, into dx equal to dt that will be whole square plus k minus 2c plus b into 1 plus c upon x square divided by x plus sorry x minus here here it will be minus sign is x minus c upon x whole square plus k plus two c. Okay, so this whole integral, the given integral, can be converted like this. Okay, then the constants, then the arbitrary constant, arbitrary constants. A and B can be found out can be found out by comparison by comparing 
the numerator of right hand side and the left hand side. Comparing the numerators. The numerators of right hand side and the left hand side. Numerators of the right hand side and the data of the left hand side. Okay, so in that way, A and B are calculated. Okay, so finally, the solution can be found. I mean, this is T squared plus this, T squared plus that. Okay, in the numerator, we have that value. So this is what the process is. This integral function, if I write here integral of time, and also this is here. We have to put here then dx, this is dx. This is also dx. Okay, so in this way, this integration is converted into this form by dividing first by f square, numerator and numerator, and then this whole value will be divided into two parts, in this case two parts, so sometimes it is only in single part. Okay. This is the process of solving this kind of question, this kind of uh, lesson fractions. So let me take the second question. This is the first question because this is generalized this kind of question. Okay, we, we can find out the value here by okay, considering the first first part you can take here x plus c upon a equal to t, it will be t square plus k plus under t under 2 c whole square. In that, in that situation, what is the possibility? Constant here. So that is one of the points. Let me give the question number second. Question number second here is question number second. Number second, let's talk about question for second here sign of integration. This is x square upon x4 plus x square plus 1 into dx. Now, in this case, in the numerator, we have only single x square. If I convert this x square in such a form, let me first uh, let x square is equal to 1.2 x square minus 1.x square plus okay or let me write here minus 1 plus 1 only minus 1 plus 1 this is minus 1 plus 1.2 S square plus one. Okay, in the numerator we will write this. That means one point two we can take here. Only one point two x square x square and plus x square. Same value minus one percent is not. So the x square can be like this. So let me write here. This implies that sign of integration. This is one point two. Let me take common here. So the x square minus one. Okay. Plus, let me write here, this is x square plus 1. Okay, divided by this one, x4 plus x square plus 1 into dx. Now, if I separate them, it will be x square minus 1 into dx divided by x4 plus x square plus 1. Okay, here we have down this is one point two sign of integration. X square plus one. This is one x four, sorry, x four. This x square plus one into dx. Dividing numerator and denominator by x square. Dividing numerator. Sorry, this is numerator. So form it is numerator and the denominator. By x square, we get what do we get in the first situation and the second? second. This is 1.2. This is 1 minus 1. x square, 1 minus 1 point x square into dx divided by this x square plus 1 plus 1 point x square okay, plus 1.2. 
ton of integration message to one plus one to one x scale divided by x scale plus one plus one to one x scale. Okay, into dx plus into dx. Now let us convert this into a perfect scale form. It can witness x plus one to one x whole scale. And this is the one here. But here it will be one point ton of communication to one one of one point x scale into dx divided by it can witness x plus one point x whole scale. Okay, this is from this you will get plus two. So plus two and this is plus one. To remove that plus two, you have to add uh, subtract minus two. Minus two and plus one will be minus one. Only. If the minus two comes first, the plus one point is there. Sum of integers, this is one plus one point x square into dx divided by, here it is x minus one point x square. Now, here minus two will be obtained because twice a into this. 2x is 1 upon x, x is cancelled out. So minus 2 will be there. To remove that minus 2, we have to add 2 plus 2 and this plus 1 is 3. Okay. So this whole equation is connoted like this. Now let us say let x minus 1 upon x is equal to 3. This implies that our differentiating is with respect to 3. Differentiating it with respect to t, we get it is 1 minus sorry, 1 1 plus 1 upon x square into dx upon dv plus one to 1. This is 1 upon 1 plus x square into dx equal to dt. This is the value in the second case and the second situation is x plus 1 upon x that is taking equal to u. Okay, so differentiating it with respect to u. Sorry, u. We get again this is 1 minus 1 upon x which is into du upon uh, dx upon du. dx upon b equal to 1. So this is 1 minus 1 upon x square into dx equal to d. Okay, so these two situations here we have object. For x plus 1 upon x, we have assumed as the second case. Okay, 1 plus this one. Uh, the minus and this is plus one, x plus one for x is u. In this situation, we can say u here, this is du, because one minus one for x squared into b, dx will be u. This is one point two into du upon u square minus one. This is minus one this. Okay, and this is plus one point two. Second case, this is dt upon t square. Plus three. Okay, so let me further solve that. Let me write it here. This will be one point two. Let me write du upon this is u square minus one square plus one point two to the sign of integration. This is dt upon this is d square plus root three whole square. This is x square plus a square, this is x square minus a square type in form. So what are the values of these? This we discussed in the previous lecture. How to integrate the form x square minus a square and x square plus a square, one upon one upon x square minus a square and one upon a square plus x square, a square minus x square and x square minus a square. The two forms. Here it is x square plus a square. Okay, so let me 
solve this. This is nothing but 1.2 is already there. 1.2 into A is 1. 1.2. Log of it is x square minus a square. U minus 1. Same value. Upon u plus 1. Okay, and this 1.2 are taken common from this also. This is nothing but 1 upon a. 1 upon a is equal to 3. Tan inverse d upon root 3 plus constant of integration. These are the two values. So let me multiply this. This is 1 upon 2. Log of value of u was okay. u be considered that x plus 1 upon 2 x equal to u u equal to this. Okay, so this this value is this much and t is equal to x minus 1 upon x. These two values we consider. So let me substitute them. So here it will be u means x plus 1 upon x minus 1 upon x plus 1 upon x plus 1 plus 1 upon root 3 tan inverse. Here t, t is x minus 1 upon x upon root 3 plus constant of integration. Now let me further summarize them log of x if I take LCM x square plus 1 minus x x upon this left here plus 1 plus x okay so this is the inverted element for this now this is one point oh, sorry this 2 is also there here it is 2 so it is 2 into 2 2 into 1 root 3 that is 1 point 2 root 3 then inverse the value is x square minus 1 upon x under root 3 plus positive integer. This is the final answer. This is the answer of question number second. Question number second is solved. This is the process of solving these kind of questions. So okay, whenever x square is there, okay, that kind of situation is there, then we can solve it. So let me take next question, third question. Question number third. Let's talk about Okay, so question number third. Let us talk. These are the rational fractions. In case of rational fractions, this is the situation. I mean process of solving these questions. First of all, we have to divide the denominator and numerator by x square, if it is x four in the denominator and numerator is having x square, dividing that x square, okay. Or if, sorry, the situation is simply x square type, x square can be written that in that way, we have written now x square plus 1 and x square minus 1 divided by 2. That is how we can further convert that into by dividing x square and numerator and denominator. So this is the process. Let me take the question number third here. Question number third is simply x square plus 1 upon x4 plus 1 into dx. Okay, now in this situation, we are having nothing <coughs> but only, okay, this value. In numerator, we, we have x square plus 1. We can divide numerator and denominator by x square. Let me divide it by dividing. Numerator and denominator by x square, we get <coughs> okay, we get 1 plus 1 upon x square into dx divided by this is x square plus sorry, x square plus 1 upon x square. This is a solution. Now, if I convert this into two process, it can be. But you only one process because here it is plus sign, so we can have x plus x minus one point x for this way. In that situation, if it is x minus one point x squared, then plus two will be there. So we can write it as sorry, one plus one point x squared. Okay, I couldn't sleep at night either much. I uh, slept only for 
that's how that is the reason why I'm feeling asleep. I'm sorry, but not asleep, but really excited. I can do this. Not a problem at all. Okay. So divided by this can be written as x minus one upon x the whole square. Now from this we will get minus two. To remove that we have to add plus two. Now there is no change. We open this denominator, this one whole square. We will get x square plus one upon x square plus uh, minus two. Two into a into b. Minus two a into b means minus two only. But this plus two and minus two cancel out. So only these two terms will be all into ds. Now let so this we have converted in. this value we obtained after dividing numerator and root by x square, which is there, and which can be written like this. So let x minus one upon x this one equal to t. Differentiating it with respect to t, we get to be one minus plus one upon x square. Why it is one plus one plus one upon x square? Because if I take x to numerator, it will be x is one minus one. That minus one power will come before the uh, in case of differentiation. The minus one and this minus plus, okay, and x is for minus two. For so minus one minus one, that minus two means x one upon x square. So this is differentiation of this value into p x. Because x is being differentiated with respect to t. This is equal to one. T is one differentiation. Or we can write it as one upon one plus x square into d x equal to dt. Okay, so substituting the numerator here as dt, complete in dt, where the d square plus let me write it as root of four square. This is nothing but one upon a a means into tan inverse. This is d upon d upon root plus constant of integration. Let me write the value substituting the value of a. What is it here? X minus one upon x. It will be tan inverse x minus one upon x divided by root plus constant of integration. For that can be resolved. One point two into ten inverse. This is x square. This is x square minus one upon x under root. X under root. X can be taken as denominator. The x under root plus constant of integration. This is answer. Question number third. We have solved. Question number third is solved. Is the answer. In the question, let us take the next fourth question. Now, question number fourth is is it of the same type? Let me check. The question number. Okay, this is the fourth one. Question number fourth. Sum of integers and it is x square minus one upon x four plus one into t. Again, dividing numerator and denominator. Dividing numerator and denominator by x square, we get it will be one minus one upon x square divided by dividing numerator. This x square upon x square is one. Minus one upon x square is zero, and in the denominator we get x. This x square plus one upon x square. Dividing x square by x square means x square. One by x square means one upon x square into d x. It can be written as one minus one upon x square. Okay, divided by this can be written as x plus one upon x whole square. I write. And because plus two will come here, this minus two, minus root two, whole square if I write, no change. If I open this denominator, can get x square plus one upon x square. Okay, and plus two plus two into x into one upon x, x square plus two will be obtained. From this, it will be minus two. 
minus 2 and plus 1 cancel out, only x square plus 1 upon x square is 1. There is no change here. This is dx. So let's substitute Substituting 1 minus, sorry, 1 plus 1 upon, I'm sorry, x plus 1 upon x equal to let us take t. Differentiating it with respect to t, we get to be 1 minus 1 upon x square into dx upon dt equal to 1 over 1 minus 1 upon x square. This is the process of differentiating it. Otherwise, I could write 1 minus 1 upon x square would be as you did. Okay, so simply that would also be written, but that is the shortcut method. Okay. I'm not using shortcut, I have to just handle the question so that the students can understand what is the process of differentiating it. Okay, difference with respect to t here, t means 1, t differentiation of t with respect to t is 1, it is now cross multiplied, dt will come there. This is one minus one point. First, finally, it is converted into dt in the numerator divided by this one. dt in the numerator divided by t square minus root 2 whole square. This is x square minus a square type. So, okay, the, the first type of question, the answer will be 1.2a. a means root 2 into log of t minus root 2 upon t plus root 2. If it is a square minus t square or x square, a square minus x square, then it will be t plus or a plus x upon a minus x in the denominator. If it is a square minus x square, but in this case it is log of this one. Okay, so, oh, oh. sorry. So, in that situation, if it is a square minus t square, then it will be 1 upon 2 a log of, this will be plus a plus x or a plus t upon a minus t or root 2, uh, root 2 minus, minus t, root 2 minus t, and here it will be root 2 plus t. Okay, so, that will be changed. But in this case, this is x square minus a square right? Okay, plus most of the integration. That should be the value of t. Finally, we have 1.2 log of t is x plus 1 upon x minus root 2 upon x plus 1 upon x plus root 2.